Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. This is part two video of this .NET 6 API and React.js Red Operation sample example. Okay. Now to create our React.js application, first we should contain the Node.js into our application. Node.js server helps to pull the required packages for building or developing the React.js application. Okay, so please make sure to install the Node.js into your local machine based on your operating system. Okay, so once installed, okay, to create the React.js application, there is a command. You can search like React React app. Okay, and click on the top link. Okay. And here you can find the command that is like npx create react app paste your name of your project. Okay, it's going to create the brand new React.js application. So copy this command. Okay. Create a folder at any location where you want to develop our sample. Okay, so this is my folder location. And let me open terminal. So here paste the command react command and let's change the name of the application like any name you can give. I give like react 18 thread demo and click enter to create to start the creating application. Okay, creating application takes quite some time. So let's wait for the application creates. Okay. So react project is successfully created. Now to do our work in this react app, we need an IDE. Okay. So you can use any kind of IDE, but most famous and most recommended IDE is Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay. So please make sure to download it. It is a free. So if you go to code.visualstudio.com, you can download your Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay, so let me open my project inside of the Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay, here is my application, and in the package.json, we can observe the version of our React application, okay, which is 80. Okay, first let's understand some of the key files that are free available as to us on creating the project. Okay, so in public folder, okay, we won't do any development, but it contains one index.html file. Okay, so this is the one and only HTML file that exists inside of the React.js application. We know React is a single page application, right? So this is the HTML page. And to this HTML page, you can see a div like id dot root. So all the React.js component content gets rendered inside of this id tag, okay? Div tag, okay? And next. So this is for deployment folder. We won't touch it automatically once we deploy. Okay, this page got this HTML page get rendered for every user request. Okay, for development, all the code is inside of the SRC folder. Okay, so in the SRC folder, index.js is the entry JS file. Okay, main file. Okay, if you observe uh, some kind of code which we cannot understand completely. But if you observe something, it is getting the root ID. I have shown you in the index.html, right? ID tag, every React component content gets rendered inside of it. So that logic is taken care by rendering inside of that ID tag inside of the index.html is carried out by the index.js file. Okay, and this contains React one React component that is app. So app is the entry React.js component. 
okay and the react strict mode okay these are also react components but for development no need to enable the strict mode okay so i can remove that and also i can remove this report web vitals from this okay so after removing the unnecessary code my code look like this okay in the index.js side and this is react component i have mentioned right so this is nothing but a js file here itself you can find app.js file okay but in react js we can render the uh, react component as html element like this and one more thing the react component should always begin with capital a because default html elements are with smaller case starting letter that is why uh, for react components we have to use the first character capital okay so these are the three files we have to understand okay now let's install the bootstrap react js bootstrap you can search like react bootstrap so react bootstrap is a library which build are developed on top of bootstrap because if you observe react components here you can see existing one it is javascript code written in html this type of coding is called jsx javascript xml okay See, HTML code returning from the React component. This is called JSX JavaScript XML. And here there are some changes. See, class name. We cannot use class directly. Okay, we we should write class name. So like that, there are few limitations with uh, JSX when compared to the normal HTML. We will write normal HTML only. Everything work, but there are few restrictions like this class name okay we need to enhance the some attributes of the existing html when we want to use it as a jsx so that is why instead of using the raw bootstrap into the our react js application it is very easy to use the react bootstrap because it builds on top of the uh, normal bootstrap and it provides comp react components directly for applying the bootstrap style okay so go to get started and here is the command npm install react bootstrap plus bootstrap we are going to install both of them okay copy this command and inside of the terminal let's try to install the packages okay bootstrap and react bootstrap got successful successfully installed to confirm that you can check the package.json there are new entries in the dependencies see bootstrap and react bootstrap okay now what i will do as a first step i want to add a menu for my application using the bootstrap ui component first let's run our application and check how the existing uh, app look like so open terminal open one more terminal to run our application and command is like npm start so this command going to kick start the local server to run the uh, react application under the default port number 3000 okay okay so here is the default application running in my local machine now i want to remove this content and i want to add a bootstrap menu okay so menu is like a common co common html that should be uh, rendered for any page navigation right so it is like a shared logic so for that so what i will do i will create a separate react component so we have started to creating the uh, react components okay so inside of the src create a folder like components inside of the components let's create one more folder like shared okay now let's create our create our react component like layout component okay layout see i am using capital letter l because it is my react component okay dot js 
simple js file only but it contains a function that function returns jsx javascript xml write a function and name the function name of the function will be our name of the component okay so layout okay and it contains a return method and that should return some content so if you don't know which type of element like imaginary element you can use like empty braces as well if you want you can give you directly okay or you can use uh, empty tags okay but you cannot use multiple for the return only it can return single element okay instead of that element you can write your own uh, component logic html to render okay so now i want to add here bootstrap menu we add bootstrap menu for that go to website and go to components and here can go for navbar okay so this is then here you can see example with the example components and what are the react bootstrap components need to be imported if we use them okay let copy this html code okay so if you don't understand uh, don't worry what are all these components you can learn slowly because they are almost equal to bootstrap instead of learning everything at once you can learn it slowly so don't worry what they do just think like they are ui components for Re react okay I, for now i will remove some code like in our collapse i don't want this component entirely okay and i want some heading let's remove this href and my application name is like super villains okay since we are using react bootstrap components we have to import their namespaces as well like let's import everything okay add them here and from them you can remove unused components because we removed some data right so here faded uh, lines you can treat them as un unused components so you can remove them so this is my menu i want to render it so where i want to render this app component it should be shared right this should be shared means it should be comes in app component okay so let's remove all these existing unnecessary data let's remove this as well let's think i have simple h1 tag okay so this is my app component okay now i want to uh, add the layout component so that navbar will be available to enter my application so to do that what we will do we will use layout as a root element okay so here it should be exported component should be exported okay okay so now try again layouts okay see automatically component is imported into the app component okay and i want to render the entire app component whatever component data is there i want to render inside of it okay now let's see how our application looks I am getting heading but no bootstrap menu why okay i forgot to import the uh, bootstrap css file into the index.html so go to index.html so here we have to import the bootstrap file okay so import bootstrap list 
CSS bootstrap dot min dot CSS okay this should fix the UI issue okay now I got a menu but it is not so visible so let me redesign it like dark and I want primary color for that I can use a nav bar uh, pro one of the property like variant okay you can check in website bootstrap react website you can find it there so here i can pass primary so now okay now i can get nice blue color menu bar sorry sorry my mistake pg should be primary background color right and variant dark variant i want sorry okay now i got menu but my app content is not visible right but the content i am is rendering inside a hello world i am rendering but it is not visible in the ui that is because any react component it contains some content inside of it and if you want to display we should explicitly render them okay so to do that we have to pass the props okay so this props can read custom or default properties so it contains the default property like children so that gives access to entire content inside of these layout tags means whatever html is there that will be accessed from it okay so to access that props dot children okay this will give access over this if any content inside of this layout tags okay so we want to render it right so to render it after the nav bar that content should be rendered so what i will do i will create one more container so this container is a react bootstrap container and i want to render it here to render any expression or data in react component you have to open single flower brackets okay inside of it we have to pass the dynamic data we want to render okay now we can see hello world text must appear okay. so that's it uh, a simple navbar how we added and how we set up the react.js application let's create next we are going to create the .NET 6 web api application thank you for watching this video i hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all if you like my content please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off